Hello everybody. We as the Yellowstone fans have had a blessed week since the show finally returned to the TV screen with its fourth season. It's been more than a year since the season three finale shocked us all with major cliffhangers. We watched three of our favorite Duttons, Beth, Casey, and John, being attacked by unknown parties. The episode caused massive reaction among the fans as more than 5 million people tuned in to watch it. Naturally, since then, there are multiple theories revolving around, questioning what will happen next in the series. Thankfully, the brutal waiting period is now over and we get to learn most of the details that were bugging us for all these months. In the first episode, we saw that none of the Duttons have died. This has been a major relaxation for all of us as the theories suggesting that one of them will definitely die were absolutely heart-wrenching. Nevertheless, John and Beth were heavily injured. Especially John had to stay in the hospital for two months, in a critical condition that required him to be on drugs at all times. Beth, on the other hand, was still struggling to face what had happened to them while burning with the fire of revenge inside. Casey was in good health, but he was also desperately searching for the responsible parties to hold them accountable. In general, it was clear that the Duttons were mostly clueless about who had done this, but were ready to rise from their ashes and show everybody who is the boss around here. In the second episode, we watched the Duttons recovering and entering into a revenge mode with the determination to kill them all. While Beth was sure that Jamie was behind all of these, Casey was less sure about his brother's capability of doing such a thing. Regardless, they were all getting ready to make a comeback to the scene with a massive revenge action. We also saw some new characters entering the show, such as a teenage boy with a troubled background and a CEO lady of a large investment company. Both of the characters already revived the show with their own specific arcs. Besides, we watched Beth meeting with her ex-boss, and showing him that she is not one to bow down in front of them. In fact, she basically started a fight against her ex-boss, making sure that she is the force to be reckoned with. Jamie, on the other hand, bought a new ranch separate from Yellowstone together with his biological father Garrett, as a symbolic move highlighting his separation from the Yellowstone family. All these made us wonder even more about the rest of the season. From the very beginning, it's very clear that Season 4 of Yellowstone will be a legendary one that will make TV history. Naturally, all of our eyes are on Episode 3 of the season, titled All I See Is You. The upcoming episode is expected to be released on November 14, 2021. Since the first two episodes were released together on November 7, we assume that the rest of the season will continue with the same pattern as well. However, we were wrong. The rest will resume by releasing a single episode each week, which will last until January 2, when the final episode of Season 4 is expected to be aired. The upcoming episode names, apart from All I See Is You, are expected to be as follows, winning or learning, under a blanket of red, I want to be him, and keep the wolves close. The episodes can be watched online on Paramount Network's website, as well as the Streaming Services app. Other live TV services including YouTube TV, Dyer TV, Fubo TV, Spectrum, and Hulu Plus Live TV will also air the new episodes each week. The episodes can also be bought from platforms such as Google Play, Amazon Prime Video, and YouTube. In Episode 3, of which the trailer is expected to be released towards the weekend, we are anticipating the Duttons, especially Beth, to go after Jamie in order to prove his relation with the attacks. Nevertheless, we believe that on the contrary to the expectations, Jamie will prove himself innocent eventually and all things will turn out to be a series of misunderstandings. Still, the fact that Jamie is becoming a rival to Yellowstone with his nearby ranch will definitely cause some tension with John. When it comes to Beth and Rip, we're expecting the couple to bond with the boy Carter, even considering adopting him. The biggest action, however, is expected to take place in relation to the construction of the airport. Especially the CEO Caroline Warner's involvement in the case will stir things up in the upcoming period. The historical Indian findings in the area can also cause the racial politics in Montana to resurface, causing more social and political issues to be discussed on the series. We also expect an animal activist to join the series and make things even more difficult for the already struggling Yellowstone. Still, despite the backlash and hatred, the Yellowstone family, especially John, seems highly determined to make the ranch well-known to the world by expanding their influence. Therefore, we expect even more enemies to emerge and cause trouble to the Duttons. Apart from all these, we expect dozens of amazing landscape shots, filled with mountains, forests, and rivers, that make us want to go to Montana as soon as possible. 
The contrast of watching highly serious topics with a very romantic and heartwarming background has always been a blessing for the minds who get enjoyment out of conflicting structures. Thus, we cannot wait to see more of Yellowstone in the upcoming period. What do you think of the fourth installment of the series so far? Is it meeting your expectations? What would you like to see in the upcoming episodes? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.